Boom. What is up, Loud and Proud crowd? Hopefully, guys are doing absolutely fan freaking tastic today. So, I do have a new Loud and Proud t shirt on. I just stocked myself up with a crap ton of new merch. I got myself a new hat. Love my new hat. Be sure. We are on our way over to the Volkswagen dealership. That is what this has come to. No, I'm totally messing. I'm not swapping out the dually for a little fuel efficient diesel car. That's not what I'm doing, especially not foreign. But what we are going to be doing, most of Fort Wayne, there's not a lot of heavy duty Ford trucks for sale. Believe it or not, you're good, you're good, you can come on in. Anyways, believe it or not, it is really hard to find like Platinums and King Ranches and stuff like that. And the Lariats are even really, they're not like hard, hard, hard to find. But there's not many options. There's like two new ones in all of Fort Wayne, and I don't really love either of them. And the ones that have been for sale have been sitting there for like over a year because there's just not a huge demand for heavy duty trucks in the area. It's just, there's just not. Like they don't sell a lot of new ones here. You go down towards her parents, our parents, there's tons of heavy duty trucks for sale in there compared to here. I Which mean, it doesn't make sense because it's like the city and there's tons of city people. But I guess there's just tons more businesses that yeah, could more use them. There's eyes that pass it and see it, so yeah. that's why they do it. Yeah, around here, how many heavy duty Fords do you see sitting on lots that are like Larry, it's Platinum, it's King Ranch? Two, like, at most. Like, there's not many. So, anyways, we found one. It's pre owned, which is totally cool, but it is over on the other side of town. So, we're going to go over there. We're going to check the truck out. Don't forget to enter to win this limited edition Ram 3500. Comments because this thing could be yours every five dollars is two entries and you guys are running out of time There's only it's to get those double entries and that's gone So if you want to get in get in now the t-shirts are amazing the hats are top quality Yes, this is embroidered. This is not some cheap like crap. This is an embroidered hat Okay, top quality go check them out every five dollars is two entries and there's female options <laughs> And there's also female options if you like yeah, diesel babe too. stuff. Oh, yeah Phone cases, oh well, that is a business card. Phone cases, Diesel Babe, loud and proud phone cases, top quality, very tough. I actually just threw my phone on our bed on the wood hard solid part today and she's like, you're gonna break your phone? I'm like, nah, I got a loud and proud phone case. And look what we got rolling up here. That's right, the Dooley Squad. Got a Super Duty, this is probably just a 350, but I posted on Instagram, I said, should I get an F450 Platinum? or an F-250 like King Ranch or Platinum. And of course everybody was like, dude, don't get another Dually because you already bought a Dually and you said how it's too big for daily driving. Like it's not practical. And it's really not that it's too big and I don't like driving it because I love driving it. And everybody going down the road looks at this truck like, oh my goodness, that thing is a monster. But I just said I couldn't justify buying one again for what I do with it day to day. Could I justify buying it for the business? Yes, but I can't. Are pulling our horse trailer? Yeah, if we're pulling a horse trailer, we need something that can haul 30,000 pounds, you know, to haul a 5,000 pound trailer with, you know, 2200 pounds with the horses in it. That's totally necessary. You know, we can't use a 1500 for that, right? Right. Gotta have a dually. But in all seriousness, I just thought, I'm like, yeah, it's sick, but I'd rather do like another truck that's like eight, 10 inch lift, big wheels, big tires, like crazy, than like just something that's super, super wide and low like the dually. And like, I just don't haul anything to where it's like, I might as well just have a big, cool lifted SRW truck, not another dually, but you know, whatever. We are giving this freaking truck away, by the way. Oh my goodness. Yo, fam, it is a good day. So I've got some more new Loud and Proud merch. Yes, it's kind of bad lighting in here, but these shirts are so freaking soft. They're tri-blends. They are well-fitted and they are nice. They're not, when I say well-fitted, I don't mean like they are super tight and constricting. That's not what I mean. I mean like they are comfortably fitting to where you can wear them and they are so soft and silky and nice. Anyways, if you want to pick some up, get entered to win this truck, link is in the description down below or just go to lnpgear.com. We are going to be meeting up with David, the winner of the third gen 
Cummins, we got the truck parked over there last night because we saw that we had some weather coming in this morning and we didn't want the truck to get all coated in rainwater and nasty and stress us out even more. So we just figured we'll park it there last night. The truck looks immaculate. It looks awesome. So we're super excited to see his reaction to it. I'm pretty sure he's going to be stoked about getting a new truck. I mean, I'm not sure who wouldn't be unless you're out of your mind, but this truck is incredible and I think he's going to love it absolutely more than he even realizes. We are ready to go. We've got the limited right here. I'll post it up. Looks really good. Got Rosine. We couldn't get the DB build over here this morning. Couldn't really get her over here in time. Dad should be here with his King Ranch soon-ish. I don't know for sure. He might or might not have that truck. I don't know. And hopefully when he gets here, everything just plays out nice and smooth. Yeah, I think that's his buddy's truck. It's a Mega Cab 5.9. The same style truck he's picking up. It should be good. I'm pretty sure that's his friend's truck, but we'll find out. What's up? Oh, oh you got the you got the khaki yeah. hat too, huh? <laughs> Nice yeah. to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. Are you David? Are you David? Are you David? Okay. Okay. <laughs> nice, nice to meet you. 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 I'm the driver. Don't care. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> well, well, well. Who's who's the most excited one here right now, actually? You oh, right. <laughs> so you're the one that watches the videos the most, or? Yeah. I saw this pulling up, and I'm like, almost like the exact same thing that you're about to get. I told him now yeah. I have a parts truck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's awesome. It's awesome. So, all I can have is right there. Oh, yeah. I was going to ask you first before you see this truck. This is actually the next one we're giving away. You probably heard through all the social yeah. media stuff. What would be your reaction if you won that truck? Oh, my gosh. I couldn't even tell you. That thing is amazing. So we had the guy who won the, the blue truck up here. The soon as he pulled up, he was just standing there staring at the truck. And you want to see your truck? He's like, just give me a minute. He's <laughs> just right. looking at it. Now he wasn't sat at in it. He's like, this is awesome. You can sit in it, start it, whatever you want to do. You've gotten your truck, you got the title. It's right in his hand, by the way. That's what that is. Got his title, he drove it. Love it. <laughs> or is it, is it real? It is real. You want a good chance of winning a vehicle, buy your merchandise, and it could be you it picking up be. the next truck right there. One. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's right there. The next one's right there. I appreciate you guys all coming up. It's good meeting you all. Good meeting you too. Enjoy your truck. Thank you. And thank you so much for supporting our business. We appreciate thank it. Thank you. There they go. That's it, Dad. They're off. 
What are you doing? I'm trying to get an Instagram picture. Yeah. Here. <laughs> yeah. Pretty Follow great. me. Yeah. At Joel Feeman. Both their Instagrams will leave them right here for a couple seconds, right here. Follow them on the Instagram. There they go. I think this is the best it's ever looked right now. <laughs> like at this angle. I know. <laughs> like actually. Why is it always sad? I don't know. <laughs> I've only had it it's for always a, a bittersweet. It's like, oh, it's so freaking cool, like, like how it happens. But it is always like, that's such a nice truck. Nice truck. Now he's like, do I still want to keep Nasty Red or not? Uh, no. <laughs> he's like, Although I have found the new love for Nasty Red, that flatbed for construction jobs. <laughs> nice oh, yeah. saw. Use a circular saw. But you can do that steel. same thing to a third gen though. Just think about it. But. You put that silver truck with an extra set of wheels in the back on a flatbed. David just picked up his truck, David and David, David the father, David the son, and uh, they picked up the truck, they headed home, and super cool guys, love hanging out with them, love talking to them, and just an absolutely cool experience, like it always is, it's always a genuine moment when you get to hand over the keys to something that you put a lot of money and a lot of energy into, and then they now get to enjoy that for the price of a couple t-shirts, like it's just absolutely awesome every single time. We're actually about to go look at the truck we were going to look at yesterday, but we got to the lot and it wasn't there. Funny enough, the guy that owns this Volkswagen dealership, he said as soon as they got the King Ranch in on trade or whatever, he's like, he's been driving the King Ranch like every day. So he's not even driving the German car anymore. He's driving a King Ranch. So it's kind of funny. So anyways, we're over here about to get to the lot. I guess it just kind of gave away what it is, King Ranch. But the thing is pretty freaking sweet. I'm going to show it to you guys. It's really hard to find these trucks brand new around here um, or really within a couple hours round. I mean, there's just not a ton of them available where we're at. We are going to go look at this one. 17-ish or 18,000 miles on it. It's pretty freaking sweet and it's a 2018. So let's go check it out. I think you guys are going to really like it. So I just looked all around the truck. They want a mint for those King Ranches. Here's the truck that I was looking at. Just so you guys can get an idea. Now the truck is definitely nice, that's for sure, but after you buy a few new vehicles, you kind of start to get maybe a little bit too particular about how you want the condition of your vehicle to be in. Like for example, that truck, it's a great truck. It's a 17,000 mile truck. There's gonna be wear, there's gonna be some wear and tear, you know, signs on it. But like for example, on the bumper, there's a bunch of big rock chips that are starting to, you know, show some rust. Like the headlights all busted and they're like, oh, we'll give you $700 discount for it, which I get that, you know, that's, I mean, that's respectable to give a discount because of a flaw like that. Just some other stuff that's kind of like, uh, it's, it's a great truck, it's a good truck. It's a really nice truck. Are there just real small things that are gonna bother me so much to where I get annoyed with it quick? I don't know. So anyways, that's what I'm looking at though. That's the truck that I was just looking at and I am not necessarily set on that truck and I'm gonna be looking at some more. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Enter to win this truck while you can. You know you want this view every day of the week. I will catch you in the next video. Peace.